If an emergency happened on your boat while you were away, or worse, were incapacitated, would anyone be able to help? Well, they might if you provide them the information they need to do it. Hi, I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, I'll share the advice that might save your boat and would give a helpful fellow cruiser the information they need to save the day. This episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Yugo Wear. Yugo is the only waterproof floating phone case using dry suit zipper technology. Invest in your safety because if you don't protect, you can't connect. Your electronics are fully functional while inside, and there's plenty of room for your keys, cash, and cards. And now they have tablet cases as well. To get the only dry bag on the market with zero device fails, visit yougoware.com. That's U-G-O-W-E-A-R.com. And use coupon code SAVE20BG for 20% off. You go. Just add water. Okay, so let's talk about emergency information. If your boat started taking on water and you were not aboard, would anyone else have a clue where your through holes are? Could they close them from the inside? Or put plugs or even stuff a t-shirt from the outside? Could they find the manual bilge pump? If your boat was dragging, could they start the engine, operate the windlass? If you were sick, injured, or, God forbid, found dead in your sleep, would anyone know who they should contact or how to? No, we don't like to think about these things happening, but they do. Over the years, I've known quite a few boats that were lost at anchor when owners were ashore. While we all worry about what could happen at sea, I know far fewer that have been lost underway. We spend so much more time anchored, moored, or at a dock. We need to think about being prepared for emergencies there, not just about having a ditch bag and life raft when off at sea. The thing is, the cruising community is incredibly helpful. If people see something bad starting to happen to a neighbor's boat, they're going to come investigate and do what they can to help. But you have to make it so that they can help. Give them the information they need. It'll only take a couple hours to set it all up. Start with a layout of your boat. Mark the through hole locations and the fuel shutoff points. It doesn't have to be fancy. You can simply print a layout of your boat and use a pen or a felt pen to mark locations. It's much more important to do it than to make it look pretty. Now, if you have pictures from a haul out, you can mark the through holes on them. And if you don't have those kind of pictures, make a note to take them when you are next hauled out. Then write up the important emergency information. Things like if you've got five keys hanging up, be sure to tell someone how to identify the one for the engine, such as it has the purple floaty on it. Remember that people won't be thinking calmly in an emergency, and they're not familiar with the boat. Spell everything out. I mean, for example, on ours, I told them, I say where the engine key is, where the engine cutoff is to turn the engine off, how to manually lower the anchor, where the switches are for the anchor windlass. And I even note that you have to push in really hard to activate it and make sure that the red light comes on. Okay, then I say what battery bank is which. Number one is starting. Number two is the house bank. That was on our previous boat. Now they're all one, so I noted that it was all one battery bank. I also told people where the ship's documents were, where fire extinguishers are, where there's extra line. And then I put our emergency contacts with their name, their relation to us, and their phone numbers. Now get it all laminated. 
Um, you can either take it like to a UPS store or you can get easy self-laminating sheets on Amazon. Um, we've always been able to find laminating in other countries as well. Post it all on a wall in a conspicuous location. I know that it may not be a great decorating choice, but someday this information could save your boat. I also put information up there on things like the emergency single sideband channels. If there's often people aboard who don't know how to use the VHF, you can include basic VHF information, such as using channel 16 for emergencies and how to call Mayday. Now, the total cost for this? It took less than $5 and a couple hours of time, a lot less than the time and money spent on a ditch bag, flares, and the life raft. And frankly, it's a lot more likely to be used. Just do it. Yeah, Nike, I know. I stole it from you. Anyways, if you've found this episode of the Boat Galley podcast to be useful, please tell your friends about it and be sure to subscribe in your favorite podcast app. Mm-hmm.